Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to level up your Mossberg 500 or 590 by installing the Magpul SGA stock and the Magpul MLOC 4 end. Stay tuned. We're going to start with our stock here first. So unboxing it, uh, you'll see it does come with the stock itself and we are going with the flat dark version just to kind of have some contrasting colors there. And then it also comes with um, some extensions for the butt pad in case you want to uh, lengthen your length of pull. So it has those. I'm not going to install these. I'm going to keep it as is, but um, I'll show you how to do that later as well. And it comes with the hardware and Allen key. Set this stuff aside. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just take a regular Phillips screwdriver and then on the back of your stock is um, a couple screws here. They're actually inside this rubber, rubber piece so you just wanna insert that in there, kinda of feel around for it, and then just get that unscrewed. Once that is off, we can set that aside. And then if you look kind of down and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's a, another screw down in there that is a flathead. So you're gonna want a long screwdriver flathead that's at least six inches long. And you're gonna, just gonna stick it in there and unscrew that one in there as well. This one's on a little tight. and then just pulls right off. And then we can set that whole old one aside. All right. So now in your hardware kit, dump the components out here. So it does come with an adapter plate that will actually go on the back of the receiver, which is this guy right here, and has a separate screw and a cover that you'll see here in a second. So on the back of your receiver, you're gonna wanna take this adapter and the two little tabs that are sticking out, you're gonna wanna put that over the hole just like that. So let's see the camera, so where those tabs are, just kinda stick that over the hole and then we are going to take our new receiver and kind of see where the they have the lines locked up there okay once that's in place a little difficult to do on camera but once everything's lined up we're going to take the screw that they provide and stick that in there this is where it's gonna get annoying because they give you an Allen wrench. And so basically you're just gonna to have to do a bunch of quarter turns. All right, so after all those annoying quarter turns, next thing you just have to do is take this piece here and cover the hole. Take a little mallet or something. Just kind of get it in there. Cool. And so that's basically the installation of the stock pretty easy other than having to mess with that allen wrench but if you do want to put these extensions on there all you'll have to do is get you the right allen head size unscrew these and then this whole thing will slide out and then there'll be this uh, piece that you just slide these on in there to fill it up and lengthen your pole so now we'll move on to the forend installation all right guys, so starting with the forend insulation, you'll see that it does come with the Magpul forend. It also comes with the castle nut wrench and then these two anti-rotation adapters. Um, there's two of them. In the instructions, it tells you which one to use depending on your model. So since this is the Mossberg uh, 500 and not the A1, we use the one designated toward that, towards that. So the first thing we have to do is take off the barrel. So what we're gonna do is Take the slide, 
about halfway. I'm gonna take the magazine cap, take that off, and then we can pull out the barrel, like so. Set the barrel aside, and now we're gonna take this castle nut here, slide it over, and it should lock in to a couple grooves, just like so, and then we're gonna twist, twist it off. Now once that's fully unscrewed, castle nut come out. Now now we just have to pull that forward and out. So now we're gonna take our new handguard and the Magpul logo actually goes towards the end of the receiver, towards the end, so the outer end. So we're gonna slide it on, just like so, slide it into place. All right, so depending on your model of shotgun, you're going to take the anti-rotation adapter here. Um, we need the one ending in 8.1, since this is a Mossberg 590. And we're gonna insert that in as well. This flat end here goes towards the fore end. So you're gonna slide that in there. Once you get that in there, we'll slide in there just like so. Kind of butt up. Gonna get it through those threads. Then you're gonna take your castle nut, slide it on over the receiver, and you can hand tighten it until you need that wrench. You wanna get it about hand tight. You don't wanna over tighten it too much. You just slide that back off of there. All right, now we are going to reinstall our barrel. All right, so we're gonna, and then if you do have any Magpul um, Picatinny rails that you want to put on, now would be the time to do it. You just put those on these rails here, however you want to. But we don't have any of those, so now we are going to go ahead and put the barrel back in. magazine cap on. All right, then once your magazine cap is back on and tightened, you just do a couple function tests by pulling your slide release down and rack it a few times. So and that's it, easy enough. All right guys, so you'll see just with those two upgrades that it drastically changes the look of your shotgun and also adds a better versatility for the home defense. Um, you have a couple different sling mounts back here, so you can go through the loop here, or if you pop this off, you can use the quick detach system along with the um, Picatinny rails that you could put up here made by Magpul if you want to mount a flashlight and stuff like that. So pretty cool. It does come in black and I think OD green, but I do like the flat dark earth versus the black. Um, nice contrasting colors, kind of a cool setup. So adds a little bit more weight, but that'll also help with recoil and controllability as well. And I just like, you get a better grip, I think, with this fore end versus the stock one. It feels much better. And then these little notches here just allow you to get a better, better grip on it. And if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.